Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Rekolowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus the Swiss franc. Uh, today's date is February 9, 2024. Let's get started. Yeah, it's Friday, so we'll take a little review of the uh, week as well as in, the, in this uh, review. Uh, when we go look back at this uh, week, we did the uh, key thing that uh, we could say is that we moved above the old January high. That Jan January high came in at the 0.8727 level. And although the price on uh, Tuesday moved above and failed, uh, that we did uh, eventually get back above that level on Wednesday's trade and for the most part stayed above the level during Thursday's trade. Yes, we had a few little dips below that level here, but then rotated to the upside in the early Asian session trading here today. We went back down and tested that 8727 level, found support buyers against it, pushed up, and where do we go? We went and tested the high price from yesterday's trade at the 0 0.8761 level, not once but twice, and found willing sellers. The CPI data this morning, uh, revisions I should say, came down, uh, took the price back down to retest that 27 level. And what do we do? We found support buyers again. So what does this all say? Well, it says the 27, 0.87277 level is a support level. What does it say on the top side? The 0.8761 level is a resistance level. And we're currently trading in between those levels at 0.8724. By the way, I should uh, would be remiss if I didn't also point out the rising 100-hour moving average in this consolidation is catching up with the price and is currently looking to, in a few hours or so, going to be uh, looking up toward that 8727 level. So that's going to increase that level's importance from a technical perspective going forward so be aware be prepared of that but as long as the price remains above the 27 level the bias remains more to the downside let's uh, take a look at the daily chart to see where we're at we are making new highs for the year and making new highs going back to this day right here which is uh, December 14th uh, the price high uh, today uh, this week uh, based or, or the, the price action this week did base against the 38 the broken 38.2 percent retracement of the move down from this high right here which is the uh, I guess that's a, 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 a October October uh, high to the uh, December low, 38.2 comes in at 0 0.8680, and that's where the price based earlier this week on, I guess, Tuesday and Wednesday before moving to the upside. However, we, we still have uh, 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 more to uh, prove to the upside. In particular, we need to get to the 50% retracement at 0 0.8788. Again, the high price today came in at 0 0.8761 both yesterday and today. So there is a, a, you know another 27 or so pips before we reach our next target. And then we have the 100-day moving average and 200-day moving average between 0 0.8813 and 0 0.8847 to get to and through to increase the bullish bias. So yes, the dollar twist is higher this week. Yes, the dollar Swiss moved above the 38.2% retracement, but uh, there is uh, room, room to roam. And uh, when you consider that this is just the last leg of this pair, it's moved to the downside. We had a much bigger move to the down, downside here. Uh, getting above that 50% retracement is certainly a hurdle that we need to get to and through, not to mention the 100 and 200 day moving average to show that the buyers mean business. Um, so there you have it, a technical look at the dollar versus Swiss. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.